With Andrew's team increasingly conscious of negative publicity, tonight could be the last chance to interview him. Do you consider the possibility that some of the things that you've said, which have been viewed 11 billion times, yeah. may lead to an attitude towards women that could be harmful? I accept that across all of that viewership, I have perhaps, possibly, maybe said one thing, or maybe two, that has upset a large range of people. Wouldn't it make sense to just apologize for some of the things you said, acknowledge that they have caused harm, and say that you won't say those things again? No, and I'll tell you why. I'm not gonna apologize for the edits of other people. I'm not gonna apologize for the misunderstandings of other people. There's a whole bunch of clips people are making which make me look very bad. That's not good for my life. That's not good for business. The clips that portray you in a negative light also help the algorithm to make you become more famous and more viral. I'm not an expert on algorithms for social media platforms. I do not have most of them installed on my phone. I cannot control what a 15-year-old Singaporean decides to do when he chops me up and calls me names. I can't control that, and I wouldn't try to. When you search for your name in Google, one of the associated terms is human trafficking. I was not formally charged. I'm, I have no criminal record. I've never human trafficked anyone in my life. Why then have the Romanian police said the investigation is ongoing? I'm not sure where you got that information from. I'm not sure who said it. Is there some kind of procedure that must be completed? I don't know. There has been a lot of bad press about you. That's made some nervousness within members of the war. And why is that? Well. Obviously, when people are going to continue to lie and continue to do very, very shallow, very, very fictitious investigations, people are going to lose faith in you. The media has lost all credibility because you do not try and portray the truth anymore. One thing that stands in the way of truth, for example, is when we often do documentaries, we have full access to speak to anyone we want. No, but in this documentary, we've been very closely watched yeah. by the sartorial shooter at Alpha Wolf, m picking who we can speak to, you know, monitoring the interview. Yeah. What is it that you're worried that we're going to find out? This, this question is so low. This, this is low. It's low. We let you in. We tried to take care of you. And I you're sitting here and just attacking us for three I, hours, bro. The world is asking these questions, and the viewers will be asking these questions. It's a consistent leading question, a consistent narrative. Where's the question about the good he's doing for men? Well, there's a very clear narrative. I need to leave. Okay.